Welcome back to my WordPress tutorial where I'll be going over exactly how you can build a website from scratch using WordPress and Elementor. In our last video, I showed you how you can install plugins that you need in order to build the website. Now we're going to take a look at creating a coming soon page. Your coming soon page is very important because it lets people know who somehow get to your website URL that your website is coming soon. And you can create something that looks really nice and create some excitement around the launch of your website. The website that we will be building is a real estate website. And so this is the coming soon page that we will be building for it. So I'll show you exactly how you can create this in WordPress. And then I'll show you how you can set it up so that it is live on your URL. So let's get straight into it. So here we are back on our website. So this is the website that is currently live and we want to go ahead and create our coming soon page and switch this out. So from here, go up to your website, go to dashboard. And then you want to go down to Elementor and then to tools. Under tools, you need to go to the maintenance mode tab and the maintenance mode has two options coming soon and maintenance you can see here that wordpress tells you what the difference is between the two so your maintenance mode is when you put your site offline temporarily for maintenance while your coming soon mode is when the site is offline until it is ready to be launched so once you put your website in coming soon and then you launch it Anytime after that, you no longer use coming soon. You will be using a maintenance mode and that mode will let persons know that your site is getting maintenance and it will be back up shortly. Now, in order for you to use either of these modes, you must first create the template for that coming soon page. So if you come here, you'll see that we don't currently have any templates. In order for you to do that, you can go to this template tab here or click this handy link that they give you. So click this link that says create one and it will take you to the template tab and also open up the settings for creating a new template for you. From here, you can go ahead and give your page a name and we're going to be calling this coming soon. And then over to our right hand side under post attributes, we want to make sure that we select element or canvas. And what this will do is it will ignore the header and the footer of the page and just gives you the pure element or page, right? That, that is essential. You don't want your header and footer um, that is in WordPress right now because of your theme to be displaying on your coming soon page. Once you've done that, go ahead and click publish. Once your website has been published, you can now go back to your left and click edit with Elementor. Now we are in Elementor. This is our website builder of choice and I'll be going over its features in a video coming up soon where we'll be working on the home page. So for right now, while we're creating the coming soon page, I'm just going to generally go over what I'll be using. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is to create the container for our coming soon page. To do that, you can select this plus icon here and then select Flexbox. Select the first option and then to your left, you want to set the content width to full width. And the width below that, you want to set it to VW, which stands for viewport width. Make sure that is 100. And then the minimum height, you want to change the unit as well to VH, which stands for viewport height. And then set that also to 100. Once you're done there, go over to styles. Then for background, we want to upload our background image. So let's select this classic icon here. And then where you see image, click choose image. You can choose from any image that you have available in your library, but these images all came with the template. So I'm not going to use any of those. I'm going to upload one that I chose. So I'm going to go to upload files, then select files. And then this is the image that I'll be using. So I just select it and click open. Then to your bottom right, hit the select button. 
and now we have our image loading in as a background for our container now to your left you want to go to position set this to center center set the repeat to no repeat and the display size to cover perfect so now we are looking good we want to place text on top of this image but it's way too bright so we want to add a background overlay to this so minimize your background tab and open your background overlay tab and then for the background type select classic and we want to give it a color this time so we're going to select this color picker here and choose a dark color not quite black but something dark and then we want to set the opacity to something like 0 0.85 yeah that will do then you can just hit publish now it's time to add the text so let me show you what we're creating again remember we're creating this so we have three text elements on the page one for this section here one for the coming soon and one for the date so let's go ahead and add those so I'm going to go to this plus icon here to add an element click it then I want to add one header then I want to go ahead and add another header and finally another one now we have all three headers that we need to create our coming soon page but they are all tucked away to the top left of the container so we need to get all of this to the center of the page to do that let's select the container by selecting this um, six dot icon here or you can go to your left up here to where you see this structure icon click it and then you'll see the container so you can select the container from here or any element that exists within the container so again select the container then you want to go to layout and under justify content you want to click center and align items you also want to click center and now we have all our text elements in the center of the container now let us go ahead and just change what these text elements are saying and then we can style it afterwards so to select your heading you can do it from the structure panel here or you can simply just hover and click on them so the first one that we have if you go to your left once you click on it you will see the settings here and you can give it that title so whatever you enter in here is what you'll see represented on your page so our first title was something um, amazing is on its way let's select our second heading and this one said coming soon in all caps with an exclamation and our final one was for the date and it was 10.11.2024 now we can go ahead and style each of these to make it look like our image that we have before for our first heading select it then go over to style and we're going to change the font type and the font style of this and also the text color so let's go ahead and first change the color we want to give it this light orange type something like that um, and then we can go to typography click this edit button here and we want the family to be Georgia and the font size can be 22 and we also want to set the weight to medium now for our coming soon let's select it go to style we want to change the color of this to white then at typography we want to set the font style to and this font is really nice it's called akshar and then we want to set the weight of this to extra bold Now let's also set the size to about 135 so it's big like that and we want to give this a letter spacing 
let's give it a little spacing of about 15. You know what? Let me first change this to um, extra light. Yeah, I think that would look better. And then I can do 15. So instead of having it big and thick, we just make it nice and slender. Now let's also go down to the date, select it, go to style. We're changing this to white as well. Then at typography, we want to use Roboto and we want the weight to be um, 300 light and the size can be, let's say about 20, no, 30, 35. Let me put 35. Yeah, so that's exactly what we have here. And if I go ahead and minimize this panel, you can see that we now have our coming soon page. So go ahead and select publish and you're done. Now there is a concept in web design called responsive design. What this means is that your website should be able to show properly on both desktop, mobile and tablet devices and also laptops as well. If you split up desktop into laptop and desktop computers. So in Elementor, you do have these responsive layouts here. So if I click on the tablet portrait, you can see that it is now resized for tablets and anyone who is on a tablet trying to view our website, this is how we look for them. And this does not look good. So we have to go ahead and configure this so that it also looks good on tablet and also looks good on mobile because this, this isn't working out. So let's go ahead and do that. So here we are back on the tablet layout. The first heading is okay, but the second heading, you can see that it is too big and it is now off to the left. So the first thing that we're going to do is to select it, go to typography. We want to bring down the font size just a bit like that. And then we also want to bring down the font size of the date to match everything that we had before. So this is what you have on desktop. Now your tablet looks like this. And now let's take a look at mobile. Mobile is all out of whack. So let's go ahead and make changes here too. So for the first heading, select it, go to typography and let's set this to 15. Let's select the second heading, which is coming soon. Also go to typography and maybe want to set this to um, this 26 is okay. But if that's 26, then I just want this to come down a bit to maybe 13. And let's make it light as well. For the date, I can now bring this all the way down to about 15 and that should be good. So now you can see if I minimize the page here, so we have desktop, tablet, and mobile. So you can see how easy it is for you to create your website and make sure that it works on all devices. So once we're done here, select publish and our coming soon page is now completed. But how do we get this coming soon page to show on our live site instead of the website that is showing right now? That is also easy. So let's go ahead and exit Elementor. So click the icon here, then select exit to WordPress. Then go to the Elementor tab, select tools, and to go to maintenance mode. Now, if you look beside um, choose template, you will see that you can select your coming soon template that you just made. And you can now set the mode to coming soon. Once you've done that, you can select save changes. And your website will now be in maintenance mode and the mode is coming soon. So if I should go now and search for my website at imaginethiswebsite.com, you can see my beautiful coming soon page that I made. So 
there you have it guys that is how easy it is for you to go ahead and set up a coming soon page for your website in wordpress you can even add social links to this you can add any other little quirk fun thing that you want to add to create some excitement around the coming of your website so thank you again for watching do remember to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below letting me know what you think also in our next video I'm going to show you how you can add your brand assets to Elementor so that you can easily get access to your colors and your fonts and things like that and make sure that it's the same across all your website pages. So please go ahead and hit that bell icon so that you can be notified when that video is launched. So until then, I'll see you next time.